Mm -hmm. All right, guys, today I'm taking you guys on a little bit of different kind of trail today. We got the Priority Apollo right here. So today, sit back, relax. I'm taking you guys on a ride with me on the Apollo. But before we get started, how you guys like my fit? I finally went with the spandex. They feel super comfortable. These are the Trek branded ones. I like them a lot. You don't even have to wear shorts over them. And I haven't gone clipless yet. I'm still wearing regular tennis shoes on flat pedals. All right, I'm headed to 36 Trail. If you guys are in the Denver area, you probably heard of the 36 Trail, but it's a paved trail that goes really far. I'm not sure exactly how many miles, but that's mostly where I ride my, my gravel bike. I ride it mostly on paved because I ride it on that trail a lot to get miles in, and I ride it to the gym. But today we ride into an actual trail. I didn't want to drive there, so I wanted to ride the bike there. It's about 14 miles, so we should get a lot of exercise in today, guys. This is my route. Every time I go to the gym, I take this trail. I don't have to worry about cars or anything. Just a smooth ride all the way there. Right here is one of the little punchy climbs or a little incline where it's just enough to tire you out, but I'm getting kind of used to it now. So I'm able to get up it a lot easier than I used to. I've been doing a lot of this riding to get in better shape for mountain biking. And I've actually gotten a little bit more interested in cross country. So you definitely need to be in shape for that. Right, this is where we get to the home stretch on the way to the gym. You get a good downhill, but you gotta go up at the end, but you got enough speed to keep the momentum where the up is not too bad. What are you guys just sitting there for? Let's go! We're almost there on the side of 36. It's kind of loud, but at least we're not on the road. The clouds are kind of clearing out, so you might be able to see some mountains. But let's keep going and see what happens. We are almost to the scenic overlook, which is right by the trailhead, I think. So this scenic overlook, right before you get into Boulder, is an amazing view of Boulder. Here we are. I hope you guys can see the mountains. The clouds are clearing up just a little bit where you can at least see the flat irons. They call them the flat irons because they look like irons, which is pretty cool. All right, we made it to Davidson Mesa Trail. And as you can see, it's right off 36. So if you're in the area and you want to do some gravel bike riding, right off 36, here's the trail. I got the 
priority Apollo right there. As you can see, the Davidson Mesa sign has been here a while and it's had a lot of sun. So we're gonna see how these trails ride. So let's continue this journey together. There's a lot of bugs out here though. That's the only downside. Oh man, I got mosquito flying in my eyes and everything. This is something I could just do all day. A nice gravel sound, bike just cruising. Ain't nothing like this. Oh, this is the trailhead. I didn't never know this was this trail. And now it makes sense. Okay. Because I drive down that road a lot and I've always wondered what this trail was. And now I know. Definitely the place you want to come if you want to just get some laps and get some good vibes. Man, these views are unbeatable right now. I want to get deep up in the mountains and, and ride this bike. I think it'll be a lot of fun. The only thing about this bike is it doesn't get in low enough gear to really climb. That's the only thing I don't like. So it's a little bit harder to climb with this thing. But on stuff like this, it just cruises. This belt drive and this internal gearing is awesome. I hear people's like chains and stuff when I'm riding by or they ride by me. And it just, it's just crazy because my bike is so quiet. You don't hear anything. I really like that. I do like loud hubs though, but they're clunking with chains and gears and stuff. That's a little different. Now I hate knowing it though, because I have that on my other bikes. But when I ride this bike or my belt drive bikes, they're just so much quieter and smoother. Ah oh, man, who would have ever known gravel biking was so fun? I'm telling y'all, gravel biking is awesome. I never knew how much fun it was until I actually tried it. Got the Priority Apollo right there looking good. Got the mountains in the background. Just getting the vibes in right now, having a great ride. And just relaxing. You don't have to worry about killing yourself sometimes like mountain biking, but you can still enjoy the ride at the same time. So I just wanted to bring you guys out here on my little ride that I like to do. I like to ride my bike to the gym or just around just to get in better shape and to lose weight. I actually lost 12 pounds, I think since I started riding the gravel bike. So it just makes you want to get out and ride more because it's so easy, so efficient, and so fun to ride. But I hope you guys enjoyed these kinds of videos. I want to bring more to you. If you guys enjoy them, let me know. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you guys on the trail. I'm out.